when you've seen family members or neighbors dying from malaria, you really do not need very much convincing that there's a technology that can help you. Eradicating malaria is probably not possible, but it's certainly possible to stop the huge burden of mortality and morbidity that we see. Sunam and the Zof Kamari Sir, Kafraf Sir, Wim Kokrova Sir, Goshik Malas. Those insecticidal nets save lives and stop people becoming critically ill. With the long lasting insecticidal nets as well, there's something tangible in your hand, and it's very easy to understand that that net provides a shield between you and the mosquito. The number of people in the households, the number of children, whether there's any pregnant women in the household, will all be recorded and nets given to them one by one. President Carter has made his position on malaria control pretty clear, and that is that we should make no mistake about it. Nobody need die from malaria. The health workers have informed all of the people through the community workers and the volunteers that the distribution will be taking place this morning. And people have gathered now, and it's a a few minutes after dawn, it's a bit cold, but uh, people have all assembled here and the health worker is using a microphone to a microphone and speaker to describe the best way of looking after the nets. But there's a lot of families here who have lost children to malaria in the past and they will know from the village health workers and the volunteers that these nets will prevent malaria in the future. And of course people aren't charged for these nets. They don't have to pay a single coin. Places like this are ideal breeding spots for malaria mosquitoes. The males and the females come out of the water, swarm and mate, then the male's job is done. They basically disappear. We're not worried about them from that time onwards. The females need blood. And they need blood so then they can um, get the protein from it to lay eggs. So they'll fly from places like this into the settlements, find people to bite, get the blood. It takes a couple of days for them then to digest that, turn it into eggs, the eggs hatch, the larvae go through a development cycle, last five, six, seven days, depending on the weather and how warm it is. You get the next generation of mosquitoes. It's only female mosquitoes that can transmit malaria because it's only female mosquitoes that feed on blood and can pick up the parasites. When you put 
the long-lasting insecticidal nets into those villages, every single net starts to act as a mosquito trap. The person sleeps underneath the net, they're breathing out carbon dioxide, the mosquitoes are attracted in. If they touch the net, they're dead. So what this means is that you can get coverage in a village of only about 70 or 80 percent, and everybody gets protected from malaria because you shift the age structure of the mosquitoes, and you don't get those females growing to be old so that they can become infectious. We've moved unbelievably fast on this. It was last June that we were requested to uh, support the government. And uh, since then, we've purchased three million nets. They've been made in Vietnam, shipped to Djibouti, transported out to the warriors, brought to distribution centers like this by any means possible, car, camel, donkey. You, you name a form of transport and we've used it. The rainy season will start very shortly and we need all of those three million over people's beds by the time the rainy season gets underway and the mosquitoes start coming and the transmission comes. This is the point where it actually starts to get quite emotional because you don't know if it's going to be this net or the next net or even the third net, but they're going to be saving lives. These nets are here to protect people from malaria and ultimately they're going to be saving lives. And this is the part where you see it happen. The malaria in Ethiopia is not stable and it there's a risk of an epidemic at any year. During those epidemics, everybody is equally at risk, man, woman, child. It's not like in most other countries where there's a degree of resistance in the adults who get sick but they don't uh, succumb to malaria. In Ethiopia, when there's an epidemic, people die. We simply provide the long-lasting insecticidal nets to every single family with the intention of every single person sleeping under an insecticidal net. I'm here to investigate how we can monitor and evaluate the effect of the bed nets and also assess the coverage of the bed nets in this area. We also make sure that every household has actually got the bed nets and we are also helping the region to develop a system to uh, monitor the actual utilization of the bed nets at the community level. Hello. So far we, we feel that the distribution process has gone very well and that we are getting high coverage but giving people nets is only one thing, you have, they actually have to use them and sleep under them. Here's one that was confirmed by the rapid diagnostic. We're going to be working with the health extension workers to ask them to help us in providing information to people about the, how malaria is transmitted, the fact that they need to sleep under the net every night and protect themselves. This is Coartem. This is the top-line new drug that was just introduced into Ethiopia last year. It's very expensive. 
And so it's great that they're reserving it for the confirmed falciparum cases. In this health post, they can have a rapid diagnostic test for malaria. So they have their finger pricked to take a small amount of blood, and it's placed onto a special dipstick car that has um, an antibody against malaria antigen in it. So that blood on, on the strip will then migrate up the strip. And if it's positive for malaria, then a, it will, a band will appear. It's very good that they will ha be able to have an on-the-spot diagnosis for malaria somewhere close to where they live, and they don't have to walk all the way down to the health center. And let's hope that in a few years' time we can demonstrate that in a population of 75 millions you can control malaria and you can stop the serious morbidity and you can stop the deaths.